everybody, Deacon Sarah here, and we are starting a new series in January and February. It will take place of what we've usually done as our scripture share, where we share a little bit about ourselves and the world and scripture. Um, this month and next month, we're actually going to be addressing some of the questions that y'all asked um, this fall in small groups. So we've taken all of those questions and kind of compiled them, um, and we will be answering them through social media and in our newsletter, and also our middle school Sunday school will be discussing these questions as well. If you have additional thoughts or um, these answers bring up more questions for you, know that um, student ministries at Birmingham Berkeley First um, are safe places for you to ask questions. We might not know every single answer, but there is no question that is um, too shocking, no question um, that we won't discuss. Um, anything that you want to chat about, um, we are here for you, um, especially when it comes to wrestling with issues of your faith. So today, um, we are going to be just chatting and um, discussing the question, can I do anything that would make God not love me? Is there anything too bad that um, that would separate me from God? And um, when we think about that, we're really thinking about um, what are the things that keep us from being in a relationship with God? Um, these are things that you um, might do or say or think, um, anything from your past, anything that um, might be something that you've kept from others or or people that you love, um, circumstances where you feel like there's no one that understands what's going on, um, no one that understands you, um, things where maybe you've gotten down some sort of rabbit hole and you're not sure how to get out. First and foremost, I would say that um, God loves you regardless of what you've done, regardless of what you thought, said, did. That's the crazy thing about faith is that God is always here for us. We're never alone. Um, and God continually offers forgiveness. And the second thing would be to reach out to a trusted adult. If you find yourself um, feeling like you can't talk to anyone, um, that no one will really understand, that you maybe will be in like too much trouble, um, you are more than welcome to reach out to me, Megan, Amy, Pastor Susie, um, in addition to your parents. I hope that you know that within us and within your parents, you you have trusted adults. And so reach out and, and ask for help if, if you need help. In Greek, the word for sin is translated as hamartia. And that really is an archery term, which is kind of interesting. So it basically meant when you were to meet the mark. So if right here is where you're trying to get your target, meeting the... Uh, the arrow right to that target is that hamartia. And so when we think about sin, um, it's missing the mark. So if, if you're trying to hit the arrow right in the middle of the bullseye, sin would be anything that help, that keeps us from hitting that mark. Anything that keeps us from being in a relationship with God. And those are things that we do. Um, we choose to do things that um, keep us out of relationship with God. And so um, God is constantly coming toward us. God is constantly offering God's forgiveness, um, constantly seeking us. We know um, in scripture, it says that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Not death, nor life, nor sin um, can keep us from that love. Um, so not only uh, do we preach that in the United Methodist Church through pervenient grace, that God all, is always loving us and always seeking us in relationship, but we also see that in scripture um, time and time again when God continues to seek relationship. Um, things like uh, the prodigal son, right? The parable of the prodigal son. Um, this son um, squanders his inheritance and goes off and does whatever he wants to do and thinks that um, his relationship with his father is, um, isn't able to be repaired, is, it, is irreparable. And, um, and yet we see that the father forgives him, the father runs toward him. Um, that image 
is what I think of when I think of God's forgiveness. God is constantly running toward us. So to answer that question, no, there is nothing that you can do to make God stop loving you. Until next week, take care.